Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am normally on that camera over there, but today I just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. Part of the reason why, like, I took like that five-day break in between the channel or whatever. And also, I told y'all that I wanted to bring some more content to the channel. Now, for the longest time, I've been wanting to do like moto vlogs and motorcycle stuff, car stuff, but Every time I get to the point where I want to do it, something always happens to like either vehicle. So like, right now what I'm about to show y'all is the motorcycle and my car has been in the shop for like five months. So whenever I get that, I promise we're going to start. We're going to start doing some uh, mods or whatever. It's an Acura RSX Type S or an Integra. Uh, I forgot what them Honda, what y'all, DC5, there y'all go. Integra DC5, so uh, that's that's what I'm working on. But right now, what I'm finna do is we finna go out to the garage. I'm just gonna show y'all real quick. This is gonna be a quick video. I just wanna show y'all what I'm working with, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so y'all gotta excuse the garage, but basically, right here is what I'm working with. So let me just give you the rundown. This is a, um, the heck is this? this is CBR F4i 2006. Just chill, just chill. It's my starter bike. So I had this bike for like a year and a half and um, whatever, I had it and I was riding like unregistered or whatever. And basically what happened was I had gotten an accident at a red light. I was parked at a red light. I was about to go as soon as the light turned green and somebody just like, they just hit me from behind. So if we look at the bike, so you can kind of tell that the bike is like, the seat is to the right a little bit. So basically <laughs> they hit me in the back. They messed up the rim. This is a new rim on the, on the bike already. So they messed this up, pushed it to the side, put it to the side and like, it, to be honest, it hasn't bothered me. So let me see if I can get up close up in there. So right here we can see, we can see the like the dent. So you can tell that it's bent and then if we look closer, I gotta remove the gas tank, but closer under the gas tank, you can see where it's like, it's cracked. So basically it got moved over from the hit. Plus I had this ugly banana seat. So as you can imagine with the, the F4Is from like, I think 04 to 06, they were all like, they all had the banana seat, which is ugly to me. So I've been wanting to change it from the banana seat to the, the split seat for the longest. Really, I wanna get a new bike, a bigger bike, but I'm broke right now. So in the meantime, this is what we're gonna deal with. So basically by the time I start making another, the next video for the motorcycle, I probably already have this switch. If that's something that you guys wanna see me do, um, like make a tutorial or something, y'all just let me know. To be honest, I don't even know how, how to do it. I'm gonna figure it out myself off of YouTube and hopefully some forum, somebody else did it somewhere. All right, now to our next, um, our next big problem which is why I can't ride it right now. So if we look up in here, we can see, I don't know what this thing is called, but basically it, it, it's what the brake caliper is, is holding on to. So basically the rotor keeps spinning. So we can see right here how the rotor is getting torn up because it's eaten it's eating through all this metal right here. So basically the swing arm is slightly bent. And over time, this is over like riding for like a year or so, um, the, the the swing arm, I mean, not the swing arm, but the brake caliper part is like eating into the rotor and it's at the point now where I can't even like move the tire anymore. So, so we got to buy a new swing arm. I already have the, uh, the subframe for it with the seat, the split seat subframe. So, and basically I want to sell the bike. It has about, I don't know, 12,000 miles on it. I want to at least try to get two grand out of the bike, but at this point, it's not really worth much. So obviously I want to fix it up, get better fairings, new fairings, because these were just like some cheap plastic to replace the old fairings, which are over here. And they're all cracked from the wreck. So, and like I told y'all, man, I'm gonna definitely have this garage cleaned up by the time the next video goes on YouTube. All right, so here we are back in the room. I wasn't gonna do this, but hey, man, whatever, right? It's, I, I the video wasn't gonna be long enough, so. Basically, this is the subframe that got ordered. Um, I just kind of want to do an unboxing for it. It's nothing special, but I will say this. Well, let's open it first.
thing with all these little slow things. Look, as a kid, I would have been like, oh, this lit, but now I don't really, I don't really want all this, this trash. But hey, ooh. Oh, come on, come on. Maybe, I guess it's, I guess it is. I don't know what that is. Oh. All right, so here we have the 0103 CBRF4I split seat subframe, which you can tell there's no bend in it, so that's not supposed to be there on the other bike. One thing I do want to say, if any of you guys own a CBRF4I that's, that has the banana seat, um especially if you're looking into it and you want to do the conversion you'll find a ton of the the metal parts the, the the subframe itself you'll find a ton of these on ebay or whatever but what's what's going to be really hard to find that you need is the uh um, the battery tray so the reason why it took me so long to do the conversion kit because nobody had the battery tray and i finally found some dude that uh was selling it and all the all, only thing that was wrong with it was he made a cut right here for the undertail which i really don't care too much about that because i don't really want that long turd coming out of the back of the bike or whatever you want to call it so obviously i'm gonna have to clean it up and do you know whatever to it but this is it right here i mean it's not much right now but hopefully in due time we will have a, a motorcycle build that will be straight and we'll be all in. And then, uh, you know, eventually we'll upgrade to a bigger bike. But hey, man, you got to start somewhere, right? So I'm still on my starter bike, but it is what it is at this point. And uh, so car content coming soon. Motorcycle content, motorcycle, motorcycle content coming soon. I want to appreciate you guys for watching. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video.